Okay. Hello. Uh, my name is Jeremy Pila. Again, I'm a, I'm a senior project manager for Microdesk. I'm, uh, I'm based in, uh, in our New York City office. Um, and today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, coordination uh, and the BIM process that we follow to, uh, to complete coordination. Um, now, this webinar isn't uh, or may not be quite as, as technical as uh, some of the other Microdesk webinars that you've tuned into. Uh, but my goal is to really show the the process uh, and the way that uh, we perform uh, coordination here at Microdesk and the way that we help uh, help our clients. Um, so with that said, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get started. I've got a uh, I've got a few simple slides here uh, that we can use, and uh, I've got a model open that we'll kind of jump back and forth in. So. Uh, what is coordination? Um, so the goals are, are to spatially coordinate building systems. So this is taking the intent of the uh, of the design drawings and documents and and really turning it into something that we can we can build. So it's uh, MEP structure architecture uh, and and all of the systems that that fit into that uh, into that building and making sure that they actually do fit. Uh, and in a way that's uh, constructible and, and maintainable. Um, so the goal is to generate something that's that's constructible, something we can actually go out uh, and build. So uh, things that where they don't bump into each other, where they're not uh, not so congested that they're hanging below the ceiling or sticking in other rooms. Um, and really, one of the final goals is to to help us improve the efficiency of the building process. Um, so that's you know, possible through things like uh, prefabrication. Uh, you have having uh, the creation of a, a model that's kind of a master design uh, that we can refer to during the construction process to see how things are are supposed to be installed, and uh, you know, to take that design intent and to turn it into something uh, that can be constructed. The way the way I like to to refer to it is is we get a chance here to to create a virtual prototype of the building. Uh, so that when we go out and we actually construct this in the field, we don't have to. It's it's really not our first our first time building this building. We've built it already in the computer, and now what we've got to do is is go out and uh, and just reproduce what we've done in the uh, in the computer out in the field. Sometimes it's easier said than done, but that's the that's the goal. So I'll go to the next slide. Um, so coordination. So coordination has changed quite a bit over the years, um, and and leading up into what we use now is is what we call BIM coordination. So uh, you know back uh, back in the day, it was uh, paper drawings or, or mylar that you would uh, you know put on a lighted table and overlay them on top of each other, and the table would be surrounded by a, a bunch of folks that would kind of look at this thing and go through it and, and you know hopefully an organized way and and picture these systems in their head that are drawn on this 2d paper and say okay well these are these are clashing here and these aren't going to fit here and then this is interfering with this um, you know I think I think the big takeaway from that is it, it was it was a manual process uh, you know it was a, it was in person it, it only involved the people that were standing at that table. Uh, and it was based on 2D drawings, and and I say in your head when I mean that these were very skilled people, and that they could picture uh, kind of in real time these what was represented in these documents, uh, what it would look like in the field if it was constructed that way, and and you know really had to be uh, experts at reading these these drawings and interpreting interpreting what was on them in in their head. Um, and we moved from that to an AutoCAD uh, type based coordination. So really not all that different from a, uh, uh, from a paper based, but it was, uh, it was digitized and you had some of the, the benefits of, of being able to do this on a computer. Um, you could update it quickly and, and you know, view it on a computer screen and have some of those, those benefits. And what we've moved into more recently is BIM coordination and that's, that's what we're here to talk about. Um, so this is where it's it's we really were focusing on the uh, the 3D elements of of this model. So 
when we talk about BIM, it's building information model. We're, we're not so concerned about the information in this process. We want the kind of the B and the M in BIM. We want that building model, and we want to see those 3D elements, and we want to see how they're going to fit together. So the 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 BIM process helps us in that uh, it's it's automated to an extent. The uh, the computer will do the heavy lifting of identifying clashes uh, and identifying these interference points for us. Uh, it's 3D based, which you, you don't have to be uh, you don't have to be a whiz at, at reading construction drawings. I mean, we can we can look at this thing and it and it looks like a real 3D model. It looks uh, you know, based on real elements and real dimensions, and really, uh, you know, anyone can can kind of look at it and understand, uh, you know, at least the the shapes that they're that they're looking at. Uh, and for that reason, it's it's a more collaborative uh, environment. It it re reduces a lot of the ambiguity and the confusion uh, that can come with 2D based stuff. Um, and it and really can involve a lot more people. Uh, we, we can involve uh, owners and clients and, and maintenance personnel, and it's it's not just limited anymore to the people that can can fit around that table or, or have the ability to to view these things in their head. We can involve a lot more people in the in the process, uh, and and using that, we we believe we can get a better product. 